Today I'd like to show you how to change some of the settings and options on your Magellan Triton 2000 or Triton 1500 handheld GPS unit. We're starting out on the main map screen here, which is the uh, first screen you'll see when you turn on the GPS. So from this screen or from any other screen, we're going to press the uh, uh, circle enter button right there at the bottom of the unit. That will bring up this menu that you see here and either by uh, using the cursor and the enter button or just by pressing the screen go ahead and select set units right there and that will bring up this screen now at the top you see uh, several icons here um, that can be selected we're going to just start on the uh, left side and work our way across so starting with the information icon um, this brings up a menu where you can turn on or off the various pages that you'll see as you scroll through the um, the different screens using the page button here. So for example if we did not want to see the speedometer page anymore when we scroll through the screens we can turn that off by uh, using that uh, option right there. Moving to the next icon, we have the display screen. This is where we can change the types of units that we see in the various data fields and how we want to measure uh, the units. For example, for distance we can select um, either kilometers and meters instead of miles and feet or nautical miles and meters, nautical miles and feet, and so on and so forth. And we can do the uh, same thing for uh, speed, elevation, parametric pressure, and uh, so on and so forth. The next icon is the map screen. Here we can uh, select um, our map preferences like for example do we want the map to be oriented with north up or a course or track up meaning uh, as we're viewing the map screen and moving along with the GPS uh, what's going to be displayed at the top of the screen. Is it going to be north? The, it's going to be the direction we're moving or the uh, track or course that we have selected. That's what this menu will uh, do for us. And uh, we can decide if we want the waypoints shown as icons and names or icons only and um, all that sort of stuff. We can also have additional options by paging down um, using the uh, cursor button there to the bottom of the screen. Next icon at the top is the uh, compass. Uh, we can either turn the electronic compass on or off, and the barometer on and off. Uh, turning the electronic compass off will save the battery a little bit, but when we have the compass screen up, uh, the compass will not rotate when we uh, turn the GPS. We will actually have to start moving in a new direction to have the, uh, the compass uh, change directions when the electric compass is turned off. So I'm going to leave that on. And the last icon here is the alarm button and that will allow us to uh, decide what alarm settings we want. Uh, for example, if we want a uh, alarm to sound when we go too far off the course we've selected, we can select this option here and decide how far off course we want to be before it gives us an alarm. And we can change the, the tone and the volume of that as well. And then to, to exit all these options and get back to the map screen, just hit the uh, escape key a couple of times, or one time actually, and there we are back to the map.